Yo, what is up, PPL fans? Charlie, your coach of Bayern Munich, and welcome to PPL Season 5, Week 6. Uh, this week, we're up against Pauli Mac and his West Coast Wingles. As always, his link will be in the description below. Please make sure to check him out. As I said, my team builder, one of my favorite people, one of my best friends, um, and also an absolutely fantastic drafted battler. Definitely going to be in your next top 30 list whenever that happens. Um, and he's absolutely tear tearing it up in PPL as well as TBU. So, um, other shout outs go, of course, to uh, Alexstrom252 for joining my team. And Potato Jim for recording the match. Thank you both very, very much. Make sure to check them out as well. They're both in PPL and D1 and D2, respectively. And you can watch their content and stuff, and it's going to be great. Uh, also, other links include uh, my Twitter, which you should follow me by the way. I don't say that enough. <laughs> uh, as well as all kinds of PPL links a shop where you can buy shirts and hoodies and all that stuff. Um, the fan server where you can still support the Bayern Munich, and that's going to be exciting. Um, Twitter and all that stuff, you know, the YouTube channel. And. Yeah, so uh, let's. If you want, also if you want to see, uh, know what team I'm bringing, uh, there will be a link to team analysis in description below. It should be the first link down there. Um, so you know what I'm bringing and why I'm bringing it because I'm not gonna go over it again because fuck that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, now let's get into the matchup. As you can see, Paul decided to bring his thunderous D, Mianchao, Donfan, Garchomp, Toxapex, and Mega Scizor. So um, the first big relief is that there is no Lipart. There's no Mesprit and no Gorgas. I didn't expect Gorgas, I didn't expect Mesprit all that much. Um, but Lipart would have been a huge annoyance to my team. Uh, absolutely problematic, honestly. And um, yeah, I'm glad it isn't there. And other than that, it, you know, his team is very small, so this is pretty much what I expected. Uh, Toxapex was kind of up in the air. I felt like Lipart was definitely a possibility over that. But this all makes sense. I, uh, you know, nothing, nothing, nothing wild like. I don't know, no Thundee T and no Garchomp, and so he's bringing like Mesprit and Gorgas or something crazy. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm gonna click play, and my lead is gonna be the Rotom because I did it in my mocks, and honestly, he doesn't have anything for it. Everything should be scared out by it, um, barring the Thundee T, and I will get to burn it, and I will be able to take a hit at plus two, barring like a Gigavolt Havoc, and if he does that, he burns his Z move. So, um, you know, we're challenged by Paul and stuff. And oh my god, this looks weird on my screen. Anyway, um, that's my laptop. <laughs> so, as you can see, he does it with Tony G. That's the least optimal one. Is I lead up with Scott, uh, and I'm just gonna click Will O Wisp. I want to know what set this is, and after Will O Wisp uh, hex does a ton plus HP ice isn't a tweet card because I'm uninvested. So, Will Switch comes in, uh, and this is good because this means it's unlikely to be a setup variant. It also Tells me that it's not specs, so it's probably a scarf on ET. That's what I'm leaning towards. So, you guys was done, fan, as I get the Will O Wisp off. And thankfully, he is not a Lumberry variant, which I could just burn out again, but you know. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is just stay in and click Hex, because uh, depending on the spread, this should tweet KO. Uh, and I will, you know, I'll get to see it spread. I feel like it's going to be more physically defensive, but for the damage, it seems to be uh, more specially defensive, maybe makes it defensive even. And he gets up his rocks, which is fine. I still have defog on my Finny. I can get rid of those. I can get rid of those later on, and that's all fine, Danny. And he doesn't have a switch into the still. Rotom is still a huge problem to his team, so I'm just gonna go for hex. Uh, hope to maybe get the roll and knock him out. If that's a roll, I don't. I'm not exactly sure, honestly. Unfortunately, he he lives and goes for knockoff, and that's gonna allow him to pop my Cobra Berry. Um, but Donphan is gone. That's his hazard removal more than likely gone. I don't think Mega Scizor is gonna be his defogger this week. Uh, and if it is, you know, he can get rid of his rocks as well, and it's all fine. So Donphan goes down. Rotom gets, I think, third kill of the season. I'm pretty sure. Uh, now he brings in Mianchou. Now. I'm gonna stay in here because for one, I don't have a good switch to Mancho, and two, I will get to scout a set. Uh, if he's scarfed, I have a really good chance of living, or just any no, non boosting at him. So, he's going for knockoff, and he actually knocks me out. So, um, first I was like, okay, probably life orb, and as you can see, he is life orb. So, what this allows me to do is go into my superior and sub up, because after two life orb hits, I'm pretty much guaranteed to kill it. Um, there's a chance I might not, but it's like if I get absolute min roll. So, because like the min roll is 79 point something, and he'll be at, of course, 80% after two life recalls. So, I'm gonna sub. Plus, if he switches, uh, I get a free sub, and I'm pretty much, you know, it's pretty much over. So, he goes for the poison jab. That's his best play, just, you know, in case I am sub. Also, because I'm not rich, he could have actually lived. So, it was his best play, and now I'm just gonna go for the least of my belief. Because it does knock this out, and if he switches into anything, I'm also in a really good position. So, uh, I'm just going to go for the least. So, thankfully, I hit, uh, and Mian Xiao is hopefully going to drop to this. 
and it does so I don't get the absolute mid roll uh, and Mancho goes down Superior is looking at looking really good at plus two and still at a pretty good amount of health so um, as you will see in a sec he's gonna bring in his Thunder T and I'm gonna stay in because I have a Rochi in the back and I can take anything but a Sludge Wave and I will get huge damage off on a thing plus if he goes for Sludge Wave you know I can just take over my Rochi and I feel like I know Paul enough to the point where I think he's gonna over predict as you can see he does over predict he does go for the Dark Bolts uh, and I can actually take two of those and I'm gonna go for the Soap and tweak KO the thing and on the following turn, I'm just going to pull out the synthesis, which is, um, you know, which is hopefully going to be able to win me the game. Not win me the game, but <laughs> allow me to beat the thing one v one. Um, and he stays in. He doesn't go for a uh, sludge wave or anything, or he doesn't like switch and then try to come back and just sludge wave me. Uh, so I feel like he might not have sludge wave, and I feel like this might be game because Superior is looking really, really good right now. Uh, and unless he's scarf chomp and managed to weaken me enough with the thing um, I don't see how he wins this I mean like well, how he beats this I'm gonna see this again of course I want to be at as much health as possible uh, because Scarf Jump is still an option I also just you know bull punt for Mega Scissors stuff like that um, so yeah <laughs> and on this turn I think is where I decided to not fuck around with Flinch anymore thankfully I didn't get flinched all the time that's just it's lovely, uh, and I'm just gonna go for the least some. Yep, I do. Uh, if I missed it, I would have, you know, had to synthesis again, and it would have been annoying. But now I got the Thunder T. Uh, I think Sir is now at, yeah, Sir is now at plus six, uh, and we're looking pretty. So let's see if he has any Scarfers left, because if he does, then that's his only way of winning. Uh, Scarf Chomp can kill me from his range with uh, a Poison Jab or Outrage. But he goes to make a Scissor, which makes me think. He could still be up. He could, of course, still be uh, Scarf Chomp and just want to weak me guaranteed and not mode a Dragon Claw. Um, but he makes up. And I'm, of course, just going to click HP Fire and knock the thing out a million times over from the plus six uh, hand power fire. Uh, he does just go for the U turn, uh, for the bullpen, sorry. Uh, that's a good chunk that would be coming from the range. But thankfully, I do have HP Fire and not some weird, stupid set. Uh, and Mega Scizor is just gonna drop. So, um,. We're in a good position. I uh, get my lefties back. Yeah, I'm still at an amount of health. I wouldn't say a good amount, but it's it's an amount. So it brings in Brawn as the guard up, and we're gonna find out if he's scarfed or not. If he is scarfed, and I can deal with it later on. Uh, and he isn't scarfed, so he dies, and he now only has Toxapex left, which doesn't have the ability to beat my team on its own. So this should be game. It also might just die to a leaf storm. So he goes into toxic loops, his toxic packs. Um, disgusting thing. Uh, and I'm just gonna click leaf storm and I miss. I, you know, I, <laughs> I was due to miss one honestly and I'm glad it only happened now. Uh, he's gonna go for the infestation I'm like, okay, I can take two rounds of that and I can leaf storm him and knock him out. Um, with two, you know, I, unless he's like poison jab, which I can't expect him to have. Um, station was a really good bring on his end, by the way, I should mention that. My Finny would have been fucked. because <laughs> uh, I can't taunt him, prevent him blue neck, and I must not least So, that's unfortunate. Um... So yeah, uh, I miss and he is a toxic. Sorry, I interrupted there and will act like that never happened. Uh, so I might actually lose the 5-0 score here. Uh, and depending on whether this toxic makes can live, I honestly am not sure. I didn't calc it at this point, because it, the game is over. I can't switch anyway, so... Um, yeah, I would, you know, if he lives, I just go into anything really and knock it out. And, uh, on, can I hit the last leaf storm? I can! Life is great. Uh, and as you will see, it just drops. So, uh, Sir picks up 5 kills, and we pick up the 5 0 victory in week 6 of the PPL season 5. So, um, GG Paul. That was not his best game, and he knows that. Um, that's because just one little uh, error on prep because he um, he wants to change his Thunder to Sludge Wave, but he couldn't because no one was awake and he couldn't get Jenna, um, and he only afterwards found out that it's a TM, and that's really really unfortunate. Um, so yeah, MVP, you can guess what that is? Maybe the Pope won't get five kills. That seems like a logical thing. Um, but yeah. His team was really weak to Superior, honestly, he, there wasn't much he could have done. Granted, if he did have such a way to be clicked there, it, you know, Serp would have been gone. Uh, but from there, I could have gained momentum with my Rashi with a U-turn and just, you know, who knows how the game would have ended, but definitely would have been a really close game. Um, 
but just that one error just cost, and me having citrus of course, that's, you know, the prep on my end that I made. That worked out well for me, but, yeah, <laughs> I'm of course very happy to get a 5-0, uh, this was a really important match, and just the win is important. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, GG Paul still, I still love you, you still played well, and you still prepped, he prepped really, really well, outside of one thing, his, he told me his prep afterwards, he sent me his team. No, he didn't send me his team, he just talked about prep, and this prep was really good, right? Infestation on Toxapex was a fantastic ring. Um, for my Finny, and just overall his prep was really good, he had z sand, some guard chomp and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, kudos to him, definitely, very good prep. It's just that Toxapex, uh, Toxapex, Superior just kinda happened. Um, and yeah, Superior is now up to 5 kills, it's now tied with Zodex and uh, Rachi for our top kill getter. Uh, right before Finny with 4, Rotom with 3. And I think Aerodactyl has three or two, something like that. But yeah, um, after this week, I'm gonna make another transfer. I know, <laughs> and I will tell you what that is uh, in next week's video because I don't wanna spoil it just now. But it's it's gonna be interesting, definitely. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that. Again, make sure to check out Paul. As that lovely guy, a fantastic player. Even though this game might not have looked like it, um, again, his prep was really, really good outside of the one error. And everything else essentially he has done in Gen 7 so far has been phenomenal. So, um, yeah, make sure to check him out. Show him some love because this game obviously wasn't very enjoyable for him. Um, and yeah, next week, next week we go up against Kelly and the Maryland Tor Terrapins. And we have some history. <laughs> uh, season 3, I 6 out of Manaphy. He didn't try too hard, but we'll just act like that was me being amazing. Uh, and season 4. Hacks happened. I didn't have my Mega Stone. Like I got crit, crit to death twice. I didn't have my Mega Stone when I make a Pidgeot. So I had a regular fucking Pidgeot and still got a kill because I'm the greatest. <laughs> and he missed two hurricanes on my mono would have been no god, which was funny. Uh, and then I choked like no one has ever choked before. Uh, like a guaranteed win if I just click reflect type with my Lottie on his Mega Scissor. The game was over. Uh, I didn't do that and I lost because of that. Um, he had nothing to touch my Lottie at that point, if I did that, and I didn't do that, so... That loss also cost me a title, because if I won that, I would have won the league, so... You know, I I have some revenge. I have a lot of revenge that I need to... Get. Yeah, that word. Uh, so yeah, I need to beat Kelly next week. He actually also just made a transfer, which I'm not gonna spoil, I let him say what his transfer was. Um, also, league table wise, I'm not gonna spoil too much, but we are guaranteed a top 4 spot at this point in time, and that's really, really good. We're right on in title list. we're right on one of the favorites now. Um, and we still, you know, we, we don't have that many games left. We're halfway through the season now, and we're going for a title. I. <laughs> 110% I'm going for that shit now and I'm going to win it. Because if I don't win now, when am I going to win, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to stop rambling now. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like. Tell me what well, you think of the team and the game and whatnot. Um, and yeah, Superior is a good Pokemon. So draft Superior, guys. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, leave some news. I will appreciate all three of them and hopefully see you guys next time. Goodbye.